Okay, now we're going to learn how to use the PMT function and the goal seek function. The PMT function is a function that you can use to estimate a monthly payment for any given loan amount. Now let's just say for example you're in the market for a new car and prior to making that purchase you want to figure out how much the monthly payments are going to be. So in our example I have a loan amount of $30,000, a total number of payments of 60 which represents five years, and the interest rate is going to be 5% and we're going to calculate the monthly payment in this cell here. So I go to the insert function button, click on that, and I'm going to select the PMT function. Now in case your PMT function is not listed at the top or in this field, simply type the letters PMT here and click on the word go. And then select PMT and then click OK. Now when your function arguments dialog box comes up, there are three fields that you must enter information into. The first one, and probably the most important, is the interest rate. Now the interest rate is quoted on the, a, an annual basis. However, you must divide that by the number of payments that you'll be making in a year. So for example, uh, I'm going to divide this 5% by 12 because we're making 12 payments in a year. So I click on 5%, hit the forward slash key on my keyboard, and type in the number 12. Next field is the in per field, which is the total number of payments for the loan. And this example, once again, it's 60 representing five years. The next field is the PV field, which is the present value of the loan amount. And this is going to be $30,000. So I click on that. And then I click on OK. And I now have a payment of $566.14. Okay. Now let's just say, for example, you can't afford this $566 payment. You can only afford, let's say, $400. Now your first instinct may be to change the loan amount to $25,000, which will give you a payment amount of $471. So now you have to go a little bit lower and just play around with it. It'll give you a payment of $377 based on a $20,000 loan amount. But you want to be exact. And that's when we're going to use Goal Seek. Goal Seek allows you to enter in a specific number and it'll change the other parameters to be uh, to be more defined as to what you require. For example, once again, you can only afford $400 a month. So you're going to click on the data tab and go to the data to section and click on the what if analysis button and then click goal seek. Now when the goal seek dialog box comes up, there are three cells that you must enter the information into. The first one is the set sale field. That will always be the cell where the formula is located. All right. Now you're going to change the to value field. To value is the number that you require. You require a $400 a month payment. So we're going to type in a negative 400 because the payments that you make on a monthly basis is a cash outflow to you. So you're going to type on a negative 400 and then you're going to click on the by changing cell field and you want to change the loan amount field because you want a specific uh, loan amount that's going to tell you how much you can borrow max to get you to, to that $400 payment. So we click on the loan amount and then we click OK. So as you can see our payment field changed to 400 our loan amount changed to 21196 The other parameters did not change because we did not want to change them. Um, so let's just for example we start over going to change this back to $30,000 once again, I have the 566.14. So I go back and I click on the What If Analysis button, click on Goal Seek, and we're going to change the two value to $400. But this time, we want to see what is the what is the total number of payments that we can make in order for us to have a $400 payment. So the By Changing Sale field is going to be H9, which is the total amount of payments. So I click OK. So now my, pay, my total amount of payments go up to 90. So the loan amount is still the same, but I need more payments to make that $400 payment. And that's how you use the PMT function and the Goal Seek function. I'll see you next time.